This is a story of how I became best mates with Ryan Reynolds and Chris Hemsworth. Things I do for YouTube. Are you ready, Chris? Let's go, buddy! Oh my God! Oh, I did it! Ah, oh. uh, that was the day I went paragliding with Chris Hemsworth. Then there was a the time Ryan Reynolds and I went canoeing, when Chris and I went surfing on the Gold Coast, and when all three of us made even more friends along the way. You fart in an elevator and one of them walks in. Which one is it? And in this self-improvement video, I'm going to show you the five steps to making new friends and what kind of things you can get up to. But first tell me if this resonates with you. You used to be carefree with mates, but now work life and the daily grind has pulled your friendship apart, the seams. They're all grown up and jaded and heavens knows I've tried luring them back, but all my mates have changed. Which is why I've ordered someone line. Yep, don't wait on fate to find new friends. If your old friends have moved on, actively seek out new ones. I pondered if I could choose my mates, whom would they be? I found a company called Celebrity Cutouts that make, well, giant cutouts of celebrities, so I mail ordered me an off-the-shelf Chris Hemsworth and Ryan Reynolds. But admittedly, it wasn't the best of starts to our friendship. They left the UK, East Midlands, a few days ago for sunny Australia, and it appears that they've just decided to go on a bit of a holiday while they're at it. First off, they decided to stop in Germany for, you know, it was a Frankfurter and pills or something. And then from there, they've decided to go to Singapore. And if that wasn't enough, they landed about 30 minutes of where I am, decided to fly 600 miles in the opposite direction, and then they flew back again. But arrived they did, and so I called upon my on-screen assistant, Sarah, to help with the unboxing. But I was a little bit nervous of what my wife might think. I haven't actually told my missus I'm getting this. I don't know where I'm gonna hide them. I tried hiding them in the pantry, in the shower, in the bed. I even tried in the walk-in wardrobe. Drug! You know what I've noticed about Ryan? It doesn't matter where you are in the room, his eyes just follow you around. Which is? He's like a, he's like a modern day Mona Lisa. Chris wanted to do something fitness related first, so I suggested tennis while Ryan umpired. I know what you're thinking, with Chris being all muscly and everything, I was probably no match for him, but I'm pretty competitive. And I was just feeling a little bit more agile than he appeared to be on this day. Do you know who these two guys? Yes. Who's who? Ryan Reynolds. Yes. And that Australian guy. You are with both of them on a sinking ship, and there are two spaces on the life raft. Who goes down with the ship? Well, this guy. <laughs> I felt like Ryan had missed out on our first day out, so I asked him what he'd like to do, and he yeah. suggested something naturey, like a canoe ride. You enjoying yourself, buddy? Sit down, will ya? Just sit the f down. You're in COVID isolation in a tiny room for two weeks. Who's joining you? Chris. <laughs> the next morning, Chris and I went out for a bike ride along the Esplanade. It had been a few days now, and we were actually starting to get along really well and goof around, which is like I used to with my mates when I was younger. Okay, I'll count to 10 and you run and hide. I think I might have a bit of an advantage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ready on that, here I come! Mother... Count to ten, no peeking. You ready? Go! Man, I was not budging, man. I was gonna sit there all day. <laughs> There's no way he's gonna find me down here. <gasps> Dude! You fart in an elevator and one of them walks in. Which one is it? <laughs> Turns out Chris is a bit of a surfer, right? So he wants to get wet. But they shipped him without any board shorts. So off to the mall we went. It was our first time in public together, and now I'm starting to feel a little bit out of their league. Um, they've both managed to knock themselves unconscious. Who gets CPR first? See, I'm a Reynolds fan. I'm a, I'm a Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Yeah, it's funnier. Sorry, sorry. You're really pretty, but it's <laughs> funnier. <laughs> Chris and I headed back to the coast for a surf, but, you know, once again... <laughs> Whoa! 
Would you rather have Chris Fitness or Ryan's Whip? Ryan's Whip. You would. Yeah. It, nothing. It gets you through life. And then on the way back, Chris is like, oh, let's go for a workout, man. Come on, Chris. Come on. I have a tiger. The tiger. I have the one. I have the tiger. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who's cleaning your bathroom? Who's cleaning your bathroom? The way it was this morning. Yeah, out of these two. And, and so you got no problem with that, Chris? Cleaning no. your <laughs> He can do anything he wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryan's like, well, how come we don't get to go to the coast? So off we went to the coast. And then that night we had a Netflix sesh. No, we're gonna sit down, you're gonna watch Green Lantern because that's what mates do. Yeah, we were mates, we were more than mates. Chris Hemsworth and Ryan Reynolds have become my besties and though I was constantly reminded that they were famous stars and I was nobody, it didn't bother them. Would you rather star in a movie with Chris or Ryan? Chris Hemsworth. Uh, Would you rather star in a movie with Chris or Ryan? Okay. Ryan. Ryan. Despite all the fun we'd had together, there was something about them that was, how, how do I put it, just a little bit flat, you know? Yeah, well, maybe it was time to move on, hey? Have you changed your mind at all? Can I get a Ryan? How about Ryan's wife, Blake? Okay. I'll go for her. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, maybe it was time to wind down our friendship. Hello, just taking Chris for a fly. But if we were, then we were gonna end it with a bang. The YouTube channel. The channel's called Never Too Late. Yeah, he's convinced me into it. <laughs> oh, things I do for YouTube. Oh, everyone's filming. Can you count to three? Go. Are you ready, Chris? Let's go, buddy! Oh my god! Oh, we did it! And that's how we spent our last day. Chris and I flying into the sunset while sensible Ryan sat there with the public on their phones wishing for blood and gore. <coughs> but I was under no illusion that these guys were celebrities with a ton of friends. Hey Chris! Are you having fun buddy? <coughs> and, 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 and the fact that they were cardboard cutouts. Oh my gosh, this is amazing! You know, at the end of every video, I ponder what the next one's gonna be about. Check out the view! I know that there are others out there too that look back on their life and wonder whatever happened to that fun-loving, goofy, carefree soul they used to have. Well, in the next video, I'm gonna find them. Aren't you just fed up at YouTube as asking you to subscribe? Don't forget to like my video. Please give me a thumbs up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, you know, the word subscribe makes me sick. It just wakes me one skip to someone else's video straight away. So my promise to you is that I will never utter the word subscribe to you on the self-improvement channel from this day forward. I will, however, ask you to shmub shmub. We don't use the dirty S word here on this self-improvement channel. All I'm gonna say is that it rhymes with schmub schmib.